Hey everyone, I'm JJ and today we're going to quickly edit a short intro sequence together. In this video, you will see a quick overview of Filmora 9's basic editing workflow by importing media, organizing your footage, doing a basic edit, and exporting our finished video. Here's an example of what we are going to create with Filmora 9. When you open up Filmora 9, you'll be taken to the main interface. Let's import some footage by clicking the Import button here. Go to the folder on your computer where all your footage you want is stored. Don't worry if you haven't organized it yet. We can do that in Filmora 9. Just drag and drop it all in Filmora 9. You can rename your files by right-clicking on the clips and renaming them. You can organize your clips and folders based on the type of footage they are. If you've shot on different cameras like your phone or DSLR, you can create different folders and put them in there. Or you can name your folders based on the type of content they have. In this case, I'm going to name mine Vlog for anything talking on camera and B-roll for any clips that are supplemental footage for the locations. You can view your media by file type by clicking here. This is useful if your library has a mix of videos, images, and audio. I want to select the best moments of each clip for this intro sequence. You can trim the clip in the preview window by double-clicking the clip. Over on the bottom right, you'll see in and out points. I'm going to scroll through to see which part should be the start and click the in point. And do the same for the out point. Once you've done that, drag the clip in the timeline. Only the in and out points of that clip will be dragged in. Now I'll go ahead and fill the timeline by using this method with some other clips. Because this is an intro sequence, it's best to have the most exciting parts of the story all compiled in one short period of time. Let's select some music. Filmora 9 comes with a library full of music you can choose from. Let's choose this one. I'm going to trim the audio to be just as long as the video clips. Finally, let's add some cool titles and effects. Go up here and click Titles. Here you have a variety of options for titles, openers, and lower thirds. I'm going to select titles. This one looks good. Click and drag it to the top of the clip. I chose to place the title over the last shot because it's a nice way to end an intro sequence. Finally, let's add some filters. Filters are a great way to change the way your footage looks. This one looks good. Let's drag this over the entire timeline to make it look and feel consistent. You can spend some time modifying the timing of the cuts as you listen to the music. Transitions are a great way to link from one shot to another in a creative way. You can find a whole list of transitions by clicking here. You can choose a transition that best suits your style. I'm going to add one between these two shots. Just click and drag it in between the two clips. I'm going to add another one right here. That looks pretty good. Once you're happy, go here and click Export. Here you have plenty of options for exporting. You can export to different device formats, even directly upload to YouTube. In the settings, you can be more specific for your export. I'm going to leave it as an MP4 for my format with H.264 encoder, as it's the best format that outputs a small file size without losing quality. I'm going to leave the resolution and frame rate as is, as this is the most standard export option for most videos shot on smartphones. Now I'm going to wait for my video to finish rendering, and then make sure to watch over the entire video before I upload it online. This step is important because you can miss something that you didn't export properly in your video. Now that I have watched it all the way through, I can positively say that I'm ready to upload my video. Thanks for watching!